Bali for me is now changing. As tourism is increasing, for me we're losing our heritage, we're losing part of the Bali feel. So what I'm doing on part of my gastronomic quest is to support the local sustainable entrepreneurs and hopefully learn and document a little bit more about the Balinese um, production of salt and palm sugar. So we've gone up to Kangarasim here where they have amazing salt farms along the side of the road. Basically they take the salt and they put it through a filter and they wash it three times. Then they lay it out on the coconut husks and they leave it for a full day. They can make up to about 15 kilos a day of salt, which is really very little when they only sell it for 20,000 rupiah. Again, another part of Bali's tradition is street food, and especially the satay babi. And also here we have a wonderful dish from Ubud where things are steamed in bamboo. One of the standard dishes in, in Bali is nasi champur, or ayam nasi, or sapi nasi. And what we have here is a classic ayam nazi. Jimbaran is one of the biggest areas for seafood. It's where a lot of the restaurants come. And also there's a lot of rich culture within Jimbaran as well. It's a real hustle and bustle between the cooking of the fish, the catching of the fish, and also the best part, eating the fish. 